At the Churchill River Trading Post, temperatures are soaring. The big thing, the major thing that happened was is that the air conditioning system in the store decided that they didn't want to play anymore. And in the store itself, we got up to, uh, well, in my office, it was uh, as high as I think plus 34 or plus 35. So in the store, it had to be well at that, if not more, because the, the walk-in coolers give off so much heat. We have no airflow in the store. We have no windows in the store. And uh, we were scrambling. We were really, really scrambling. And hats off to my staff, because I couldn't, I couldn't ask for anything better. I really couldn't. You know, my wife, uh, Boom's pregnant right now. Um, couldn't do any of her office work in the office. I sent her to go work somewhere else because uh, there's just no way she can work in there. So uh, it was just, it was chaotic. You know, uh, people come up here on vacation, spend hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars. They walk into a store and we can't do general maintenance on our store. It doesn't really give a very good image. So, so it, was, it was imperative that we fixed it as quick as we could. Once again, just another day in Mission B. As Dean struggles for a fix, over at the Selwyn Lake Lodge, Greg has no choice but to get down and dirty. I'll get the job done, and then the question is, is, is it going to make it through next year's winter? Because any water or anything that's left in the lines can...